afternoon to you. Look at the weekend prospects on the continent first of all, and then come back towards the British Isles for the next two or three days as well. First of all, to the coastline of Portugal. Here we see 58 millimetres of rain in just 18 hours, getting on for half the monthly total. And you can see where the rain has come from, and it's uh, not staying down in Portugal. It is, in fact, drifting across Biscay as we speak. More on that later on. But you get a sense there of a line of clouds stretching right through Paris on towards Berlin and the Baltic states. And really, away to the north and west of that line, well, really quite an unsettled weekend in prospect. And as you drift a little bit further towards the south and east, then a better chance, I think, of some sunshine in the eastern Mediterranean, where characteristically spring has already sprung, and over the next few weeks you'll see that uh, bright weather eventually moving right along the Mediterranean and eventually into Iberia, hopefully giving a slightly bright, brighter prospect than that. If you come back towards the British Isles, there's been an awful lot of cloud loitering across the Yorkshire area, down through Lincolnshire, the Wash, East Anglia and the Midlands through the morning, thick enough for the odd spot of rain and drizzle. And much of that has come from the tail end of an old front, that now gradually showing signs of pulling away. But I think across much of England and Wales there will be some showers around this afternoon, one or two of them really quite heavy. Further north they're turning really quite wintry, certainly across the northern and eastern coastal fringes, where the onshore breeze will keep things pretty chilly. If you can tuck yourself away though, around about 10 or 11 degrees. Many of those showers just beginning to die away overnight as that front pulls away and in the clearer skies across much of the British Isles where well, there will be quite a significant frost. And for the gardeners amongst you, well, over the next two or three nights I think we will see frost pockets dotted across Scotland, the north of England and the Midlands as well. And really we're not out of the woods until we move right on towards Monday. Quite a cool feel to the start of the weekend, and that's simply because we're keeping the winds in the north, and you'll notice in the northeast yet again down across East Anglia and into the southeast of England. And that comes as a result of that low pressure that I was talking about down in Biscay beginning to work its way up across the near continent. And there you see those northeasterly breezes around about that low, and another one flirting with the western side of the British Isles as well. So to start off the weekend, cloud and rain to the north and west, cloud and rain to the south and east, really quite a miserable start down there. But in between, after a frosty start, well, some decent sunshine, and then the showers just beginning to bubble up as we move on through the weekend. Temperatures are disappointing, 7 degrees down in London. As we move into Sunday, well, at least that uh, more easterly feature is moving away, leaving us with that occlusion away towards the west. So the cloud at its thickest down in the southwestern quarter. Elsewhere, it's going to be a mixture of sunshine.